Welcome. It's time for our first hot topic. And surprise, surprise, the return of fuel subsidy as federal government reportedly paid 169.4 billion naira in August of this year. That's last month. We're in September. International crude prices is almost $100 um, a barrel. And despite the continued depreciation of the naira, the pump price of fuel in the country continued to remain the same, suggesting a return of subsidy. A document by the Federal Account Allocation Committee, FAC, cited by reporters, shows that NNPC is allegedly now using the NLNG dividends to pay subsidy. We have been joined by Chief Okadike Chinedu. He is the national PRO of IPMAN. IPMAN there being the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria. Good morning to you, Chief Chinedu. Yeah, good morning, and good morning, Nigerians. Well, Chief, let me just tell you now, I'm going to ask you questions that concern Ipman and questions that do not concern Ipman, but have to do with oil. I hope you don't mind. Yeah, I, I'm an independent marketer and also I'm a Nigerian. So I think I'm capable to answer those questions. All right, so tell us, Hoha, first of all, is subsidy back? Yeah, uh, subsidy is back, but I don't think it's fully back. Uh, it's what, this is what I, 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 I call, uh, in my own opinion, uh, what's a subsidy? That is where I have semi-subsidy. Uh, because uh, if you look at uh, the, the statement, uh, I have a review of the statement of the MD, uh, the GMD of uh, the NMPC, uh, NMPC uh, carrying, he said that uh, the price of uh, Petroleum, domestic petroleum products in Nigeria uh, will be determined by the rates of crude oil in the international market and also uh, the rate of dollar, forex, forex exchange uh, in Nigeria. So you will also uh, uh, relatively understand that as far as the, the dollar continues to soar against the Naira, uh, it means that uh, uh, petroleum products, domestic petroleum products here in Nigeria will be determined by the price of dollar. So, and if that is so, uh, the regime whereby uh, the president announced the removal of, total removal of subsidy on the premium motor security, that is PMS, uh, it was also tagged as a then at 400 and something naira, you know, per liter. Uh, to 500, depending on where the product is coming from. And also uh, remembering that uh, with that announcement and the more associated the issue of petroleum equalization fund is gone. So every expenses or logistics incurred in terms of bringing petroleum products to the retail outlets will be input in the expand price. So that is why during that period of time, petrol was uh, back at five something to four something to five hundred something, and now the, 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 the dollar continues to rise, and when the dollar continues to rise, NNPCL and uh, some other marketers who imported petroleum products also decided to be able to, you know, review the prices of uh, petroleum product, and uh, uh, PMS was finally reviewed at five hundred to almost six hundred and uh, something that uh, depending on uh, where the original athlete is. So uh, well, with, with that, uh, that did not also help uh, the Naira. The Naira continued to lose dive against the dollar. Now, in the parallel market, the, the dollar is almost exchanging at 990 Naira uh, as against uh, the, the Naira. Uh, and uh, if you look at the template, whereby this product was pegged at when the, the dollar was 750. We also thought that imperatively that uh, the price of petroleum products will also be reviewed and uh, it will also increase. But now that the thing has seriously had an adverse effect on the economy of the country and the goods and commodity and services in the country, and the price of diesel is also going higher and higher, because we are using a lot of dollars to import these products. Almost virtually 60% of our consumption and, uh, and the services in this country 
are also driven by dollar. Now, so let, let, let me ask dollar. you something, uh, uh, Chief. Yes. Does the NMPC do crude for PMS swap? No, 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 not at all. They do not. Okay, because that's some so of the. That's some of the understanding we have, which is making one wonder why, if NMPC does PMS, um, you know, crude for PMS swap and earns in dollars, why are we suffering from the increase in FX? But you're saying that they do not. Well, 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 that, that is something like a, a, a crude, a crude swap. Uh, because uh, the other companies, because it was, the market was deregulated, NNPCL as an independent petrol, uh, as, an, as, a, as an independent company, imports their own diesel, uh, their own diesel. They also import their own PMS. Every that they, who imported their his own PMS did not struggle with crude. So for the best of my knowledge, that's not like crude swap. Nigeria is selling their crude, and we are importing this petroleum product. All right, so what is the respite that Nigerians are going to get? What respite can Nigerians get with the way now, things are now, going? Now, I, think, I, think, I think because of the dwindling and uh, the high rate of inflation in the country, uh, federal government decided to uh, you know, come in in a very subtle way to be able to look at the margin between the marketers' uh, 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 purchasing uh, uh, rate and also the difference that will also be able to incur in the economy. The, the issue of the palliative cannot be able to work. Because if this continues like this, it means that the prices of commodities and services in this country will continue to rise. So that is why the federal government, you know, he did just came in to see how they can be able to supply this petroleum uh, product until they get our refineries back on track. The only panacea to end this madness is to ensure that our refineries, Nigeria refineries, are working. And once Nigeria refineries are working, when you remove all these uh, uh, holiday charges, forest charges and all the rest of them, you will find that our, our product will not sell no less, more than 400 naira or 450 per liter. Now, already they've spent 169.4 billion for August alone. And um, we are seeing that by December, by the time they continue to use all of this money uh, to you know, subsidize, we may be talking about trillions. Uh, the sad thing is, it, all this money spent in subsidy uh, in the past eight years, especially in the last administration. Good Afis, our refineries, we're talking about 7.8 trillion naira between 2015 and 2023. As a marketer in this country, tell us, why would you say that all this money that have been used to fix subsidy we are not being, we are not used to effectively get our refineries working. You are a stakeholder. You know what's happening inside that sector. Why do you think, or what have you observed to be the reasons? And having observed these reasons, do you see Nigeria ever coming out of that darkness? Well, uh, well, during our consultative forum with Mr. President during this uh, electronic campaign, he invited independent marketers and. Uh, I was also opportune to, to also to be there in that interactive section where by uh, Comrade Adams of Shemile Shah chaired the, the meeting. We, we also appeal to him that it is very, very pertinent that our four refineries and our pipelines are ready before we talked about the issue of removal of society. And uh, the Comrade also uh, informed us that uh, the administration has a master plan to be able to remove subsidy without any effect on uh, individuals or on the masses. And uh, well, since then, we have also been uh, you know, linking to us looking at that uh, magic, the, the that swagger stick uh, that can be able to uh, uh, bring in, uh, remove subsidy without this adverse effect. The only issue now, what we're having here is that the president needs to come out fully with all strengths and with all uh, 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 specific uh, directive to NMPC and state, uh, kind of declare a state of emergency on our refineries and ensure that these refineries are being delivered 
one of the four uh, uh, January next year. Or else we, 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 we have a very serious problem. We have four refineries, and they are, none of them is working, uh, which amount of salaries are being paid. And I am aware that uh, the Minister for Petroleum, Henneke uh, Lopopri, also visited this refinery and was reassuring us that uh, the refinery will work on or before December period. Well, mm -hmm. we are all hopeful as an independent market. I also want to tell you, we the independent marketers, we are also bearing our own product. This is a product that we buy at the rate of 8 million 100 for 45,000 liters of petroleum product. Now we are buying that same product at 25 point something million. And this is also putting some out some of the independent marketers out of the business. And the 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 rent, the the the, the cost of uh, uh, money is not even built into our profits. So you will find out that most independent marketers are almost running up. You can find out as you drive now that some independent marketers have, have systematically closed because they because of the huge amount of money being used to be able to buy petroleum product. For you to uh, a kind of uh, uh, other 20,000 metric tons of uh, uh, PMS now. You will be talking about, uh, about at something billion. This is a product that was being bought at 3 point something billion. Now it's around that something billion. How many marketers have such facilities from back that can be able to uh, use that something billion there to just buy many 20 metric tons of PMS that was sold for, eight point something, uh, for, for 3 point something billion? Now you talk about the vessel. Most of the vessels that we, are, we used to take for $80,000, $80, now you can't even get it for two hundred, two hundred something thousand dollars as I'm talking to you. So the, 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 the effect is huge on we, the uh, independent marketers, and we that are the retail outlets, because we, we are the final uh, breaking of the box to the consumers. All the causes, all the problems, all the witchcraft and the prices normally come if come to we that are in the pumps that are selling to Nigerians, they will say your, your, your father will do this thing, you are selling this product at this time. But it's not our, our fault. We're also uh, facing our own challenges. So that is the problem we are facing. We want to appeal to Mr. President to be able to ensure that these our refineries are working. Our plant pipelines are working. The roads are bad. I flew I, I, I flew from Abuja to Port Harcourt. Now to, to move from Port Harcourt to you, it was so so difficult. The roads are so bad. You can see tankers the, uh, uh, falling on the road, blocking the road, trucks on the road. The wear and tear of maintaining vehicles in Nigeria are so so high. Yeah. All the parts that we use in this country are all important. They are all dollar, dollar dri the driven. So that is why you see that inflation is going so high in all ramifications. It's not only on the petroleum product, even in electronics. Everything. Indeed, it's very high. Indeed, the effects are huge, not just on you, the marketers, but on Nigerians. I mean, Nigerians are buying fuel for 600 naira a liter, uh, 589, 750, seven. And you were promised, according to you, by the then president, that all necessary measures will be put in place before the subsidy is removed. Obviously, none of those measures were put in place, and here we are, Nigerians are buying fuel at the cost at which they are buying. Nigerians had also hoped that with the coming of the Angote refinery, that things would change, but that hasn't changed. Matter of fact, the newspaper today, the Guardian newspaper, captures that Dangote, along with modular refineries, have abandoned petrol refining over return of subsidy. I, I don't think uh, I don't think uh, it, that that is correct because I am aware that even some modular refineries like Nigeria refinery and uh, Botas Smith refinery they are all refining petroleum products. As I'm also speaking to you this morning, they are all uh, loading. Uh, but uh, the, the, the 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 irony of all this thing is that uh, how they been supply how they been supplied with crude oil? What is the effort of federal government in trying to ensure that uh, these modular refineries get crude oil? At naira rates, mm -hmm. at naira rates, not on dollar rates, not on dollar exchange. At naira, naira rates, if we are domesticating uh, petroleum products for the good of our people, 
These are the things we can be able to do. The products that we allocate for Nigerians, why are we also using dollar to pay for such a product? Because, why you know, we're we're hearing you say, Chief, hearing you say that the modular refineries are refining makes me wonder, and would make anyone ask, then why are we still buying fuel at the constant speed we are buying it? What capacity are they refining, and which part of the country uh, get access to the, to the ones they refine? Yeah, the modular refinery, the NDP uh, uh, refinery is located in Nahoda. And what they are refining is only Kero and the HU. Their plant is not too big to be able to crack PMS. That is a problem. And most, they also have a problem of, uh, of getting crude because I have interfaced with their management one, uh, one, uh, one or two times. They also have their serious challenges with how to get crude to, to their plant because most of the oil wells around them are almost dry with crude. That is number one. And also number two is that uh, their are facilities. Their facilities are not being expanded. I think the federal government would have come in to look at those facilities. Look at uh, what has been facilities. I know it's a private facility. Look at those facilities and see what they can be able to do to see how they can also crack PMS. Mm -hmm. You understand? Even if it's in a smaller quantity, even if it's in a lower quantity. And uh, I also want to, I, I also don't want to wonder why uh, um, uh, what has been and the NDPR will also be selling this at almost at the imported rate. So this, this are what we are all wondering. Since they are also manufacturing here in Nigeria, they are also producing here in Nigeria. So why are they not selling this petroleum product, this HU, at, the, at 900, 800 or something, very, very exorbitant, as if they also imported it from, from, the, from, from foreign countries? These are, these are our challenges as marketers. But our, our problem. Our primary, our, our primary objective is to ensure that whatever product we get from uh, all these refineries will be sold in our filling stations and sold to commuters. We are committed to ensure that we will continue to remain in business because we are also businessmen. We invested a lot of money in this one, this our filling station, and even bring it to the uh, state of art, uh, in, in, you know, uh, petrol station that, uh, that you can see around the world to be able to serve the Nigerians better. So we, we must continue to remain in business. That is why you see us, we will go to that refineries. Whatever price they give to us, we will buy. What sort of meeting has taken place between the marketers, Ipman, and this new administration with regards to this situation you've painted? Well, I think uh, we, are, we are waiting to Mr. President, and uh, we are also waiting for a response. Uh, you know, sequel to our visit, uh, uh, Several uh, discussions with him uh, when he was campaigning when we visited him in his uh, campaign office and uh, what he also promised the independent marketers and I also believe that uh, our letter has gotten to him we are all just waiting to be able to tell him the whole side of the story and also offer solutions best solutions that will avert uh, this, uh, this problem not to stop Nigeria from also trying to build a modern refinery with the, with the state of art equipment that uh, does not even meet all this necessary to around and all the rest of them. These are the, the, the modern refineries that are that in the world. If you go to a uh, history test that, you will see more than 20 refinery, almost in a stretch in the uh, industrial, in, uh, industrial area, producing all types of petroleum products. You understand me? With different, different prices. So it, what, what, what stops us from doing that kind of thing in Nigeria? The money we have used in terms of uh, first subsidy, can be able to have put, uh, we, or if all put together, can be able to put up to three to five refineries in different parts of this country. Do you see some form of political sabotage by people who are benefiting from the suffering of Nigerians playing out here? Well, well if, you, if, you, if you listen to some of my interviews, I, I also believe there is a cartel. There is a cartel that is also frustrating this issue of uh, the turnaround maintenance in the Potagon refinery. And for me, I have also like, uh, advised that some of the, manage, the top management of this uh, refinery should be laid off. And uh, Nigeria should bring in uh, expert, experts. Look at uh, the petrochemical that was written off. They had the ram and came in. And uh, as I'm talking to you, this, they are producing. They are producing to ultimate capacity. So what stops us from adopting such a, a mechanism? If some of our Nigerians cannot be able to manage these things, 
You can have a refinery, you have an MD of the refinery, and the MD up to now cannot be able to do anything. And we, we, we have done turn around for complete eight years. When billions of naira, trillions of naira have been dumped into the turnaround restaurant, and nothing is coming out of it. Nigerians are very, very furious about some of these issues. And because we are the independent marketers, we are the people that break the last call. We receive this insult, we receive this complaint. So some of this complaint is also what we want to tell Mr. President, that this is the kind of complaints we are receiving. This is our challenges. You know, banks cannot, be able, the, the, the interest rate is high. 25 million naira for 45,000 liters of petroleum products. And now we're no longer selling. Business is not good as usual. For, for, for you to freeze 45,000 liters of petroleum products, you can even take you up to three months, depending on where your filling station is uh, situated. And upon that, you, 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 you pay your salary, you pay transportation, you maintain your trucks, you do everything. Well, I understand that NNPC has laid off some uh, key members of their staff. Um, what do we know about that? Uh, in addition to that, I understand also that Nigerians have been calling for the sack of the man there, the, no, head, well, the, the well, topmost uh, man there. We, 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 we have a direct dealing with NNPCL, uh, you know, uh, NNPC uh, Company Limited. That is the company that sells petroleum products to independent marketers. And I also think the MD of NNPCL is doing very, very well. He is also trying to ensure there is adequate petroleum products for independent marketers. And you you think Melikiari is doing very, very well? No, no, Melikiari is the GMT. Okay. Uh, he, because he's the one Nigerians are calling to be sacked. What do you yeah. make of the call for his sack? Well, because of uh, some of all these issues. Because if, if as a GMT who is managing the, 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 the petroleum industry, you will be able to advise Mr. President on the right policies at the right time. Because I believe that this policy of uh, removal of subsidy was, was a kind of uh, ad hocly you know, uh, applied. And the, the repercussion of it is what Nigerians are facing. The dollar that, that was around 400 something naira or 500 something has jumped to 990 naira. The economy is no diving. So we're in a serious problem. So I also think that for you to have an expert, imagine the a GMD that knows his onions, will be able to advise Mr. President on the very, very uh, palatable way of ensuring that this first uh, subsidy was removed. And the cost effect of the economy will not be felt as Nigeria something. What is palliative? One more bag of rice, giving Nigeria one more bag of rice. They eat today, they die tomorrow. Is that is it is it is it is it our problem? Is our problem feeding? If you want to give us rice, why don't you put the money in agriculture and ensure that uh, food is everywhere? What is the sense of uh, sharing a bag of rice? And we say what we should uh, be happy and be clapping about. We are talking about where Nigeria will be making money and the uh, uh, staffs and uh, our school leavers will be employed. We are making money for for foreign for foreign companies. And the uh, refineries are working. They are, they are employing their, their graduates because of our demand. Our demand is coming too high, and they are in, in hiring people from their schools and ensuring that they are sending us free products. Why we have the crude oil here in Nigeria? I don't know where I have, I have water. I will still go and buy pure water. Uh, I will go and buy such water from somewhere. And I supply the person the such water and take it in a packet and come back. And sadly, as I told my analysts earlier in the morning, it is very sad that Nigeria that should be going smiling to the banks now that the global price of crude, uh, crude has gone high is, is now crying so much like uh, we don't even have crude on our soil. Yeah, that, 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 that is correct. What is the, what, 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 you can also remember the IBP windfall of, uh, of, uh, of, of, of uh, uh, crude. Nigeria used it so much to be able to uh, put up infrastructures. This is a time, it, it, it is a gang situation. If we are refining, we can also be able to export our, our finished product and also export our crude oil. What stop us from getting more, more, more dollar from uh, exporting our uh, finished products? Hmm. Well, thank you so much, Chief Chinedu, for your time on The Breakfast. Thank you very much.
Chief uh, Ukadike Chinedu is the national PRO of the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria. That's IPMAN. It's time for us to take a break and come back with our second hot topic. Do stay with us.